Welcome to this video. The navigation manager type has an event which we can subscribe to if, for example, we want to uh, give a summary of all the components the user has visited. So, therefore, I am going to the main layout. First, I have to inject the navigation manager in the initialized async method, so the method that gets uh, executed every time we are loading the component. We are subscribing to that event. The event is called location changed. It is of type event handler location changed event args. That means that the first input parameter is of type object and the second one is of type uh, location changed event args. I'm just uh, calling it location changed event args. So now what are we going to do in here? Uh, I'm going to create a dictionary. First, I have to initialize this dictionary. Now in this dictionary, the key is standing for the name of the component and the value is standing for the times the component has been uh, navigated to. So what I am doing in here, first I am, yes, first I'm also defining a field uh, with the name current location. and I'm using the property of the provided uh, event arguments. Now, if the key value pairs already contains a key value with this key, I am going to increment the value, uh, key value pairs, current location, increment it by one, Otherwise, I am going to create a new key value pairs, key value pair, key value pairs at uh, current location and one. Now I have to call state has changed here. So I also have to uh, enumerate over this collection key value pairs. First, we present uh, the key, so the, the component name or the page name, the value. I'm also giving it the bootstrap class of margin right of, uh, let's say, three, so that we have a bit of spacing. Let's have a look. We navigate to counter. Okay. Fetch data. And we see how they are incrementing now. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit long here. We can simply fix that. Here we are assigning location to the current location. We can just take a substring, and here we have to pass. Uh, I completely forgot to to inspect the URI for this for this task. Here I want to. Uh, trim the string so that we don't see everything. So, okay, so I'm going to take the substring, pass this in. Now for this to work, we have to mark it with the verbal team sign here. So, oh, okay, of course, we have to use the length property. So this is saying that it should take the string starting at this uh, index so that this uh, gets cut out. Okay, and now we have the problem with home, but uh, I think you, you can get, uh, yeah, you get the idea of the whole thing. Uh, thank you for your attention.